capture it.
Paul? Is that... Hey! You're not Paul. Who are you? What are you doing in here? <coughs> He did? Uh, that's so sweet. <coughs> He's such a nice guy. Is everything okay with him? <coughs> I don't really know. I, I've taken all kinds of medicine, but I can't seem to get rid of it. I, I feel like I got a fever and a sore throat. <coughs> I'm real weak. Can't seem to get out of bed. What day is it? I, I can't remember. Well, I think I got sick from one of my <coughs> clients. I was feeling fine until I, I, uh, I saw her a few days ago. She was just a woman who called. She, uh, she found my ad in the newspaper. <coughs> Usually I only do business with referrals, you know, but she was offered a lot of money. <coughs> her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women... But I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <laughs> well, the next thing that's clear <laughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <laughs> I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, I have other friends who've, who've uh, worked with her, and they're not doing so hot either, you know? <laughs> She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> hey, are you sure that Paul's okay? He's not sick, is he? <coughs> Good. He, he's a nice guy. <coughs> I hope he calls me again sometime. I hope so. I really do.
Yes? May I help you? Yes. Miss Locke is one of our more, um, popular guests. Why do you ask? I can't do that. It's against hotel policy. Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me. Buy a watch. Believer, little morsel? Have you come for the kind of enlightenment only Jezebel can give? Yes, I am Jezebel, and I have such things to show you, little morsel. Such beautiful, dirty little things. Won't you come into my parlor? Oh, you cannot escape me, little morsel. One way or another, you and I will intertwine our beings on the way into the Ninth Circle, and I will send you forth, full of the sweet sickness I carry. Who better than prostitutes to carry the dark gift I bring? 
Oh, will they not share it with the rest of those who revel in the pleasures of the flesh? Yes, I follow the path of the Ninth Circle. Come and join the Enlightened, indulging your animal instincts until both kind and kindred lie spent upon the altar. Desire will be our truth, desire in the death that follows. I cannot control my hunger any longer. Come, the truth will be shown to you as I drink the blood from your twice lifeless body. Oh, it will be ecstasy. Oh, ecstasy, little morsel. Sweet ecstasy. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. Oh, God 
goddamn kings. You guys are all the same. What's up, sister? You enlightened? I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The Bishop will see you upstairs. Did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop. You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned, and then you go up these um, these stairs up to the the t temple. I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. Said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She um she saw a few of the summoned. To try to uh oh to talk to them, but they just just stared at her with these um these woo blank looks, you know. No, one of them uh, started reaching for her, and she she ran away. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b -b bishop said we have to shed our um. Our, uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle but I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs I I just uh, I just I just want to go home you know I want to go home
Sister, I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> they call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Gehenna, Judgment Day, <coughs> the Apocalypse, oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What god watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no god who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become god. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest.
Freeze! Freeze! Stop right there.
Hey, honey, looking for a date? Ooh, I don't get to do women often. Mm, especially ones as cute as you, sugar. Tell you what, how's 40 sound? Well, for you only. Don't go telling any of her friends about this. A girl's gotta make a living and all. Mm, let's go somewhere more intimate. You lead the way. Okay, honey. Let's see what you got. Baby girl, I saw you coming from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me and hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Trucker Man. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Now that is a legitimate question. But a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Because at Fat Larry's, my motto is, everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. Nah, <laughs> now that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. Say now, wow, 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 uh, that's your business. Yo, I need a hardcore. P Yo, here's what's going, but let's. Yeah.
You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's gotta lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. Hey, I heard that. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? Tell me of this so-called bishop. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. If you so desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well.